Good afternoon. This is uh, John DeMocus, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlid. Today I'm going to talk to you about a very efficient and effective algae scrubber, one that you can use if you have a sump with existing equipment at virtually uh, zero cost. And it does produce a significant amount of algae and it's very easy to clean. The algae scrubber is in the upfront chamber of a 65 gallon sump that is supporting a 340 gallon heavily stocked uh, tank. And these fish have a lot to grow. so. Producing nitrates is, uh, is, is a, extremely important. Quick overview of the design. We have two uh, uh, overflows flowing into the entrance chamber to the sump. The, uh, the algae scrubber goes on top of a large piece of 10 ppi per et foam. So you've got uh, about four inches, five inches, uh, on the top that is essentially our uh, algae scrubber. And you can, we have a $39 beams work LED uh, over the chamber. And as you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of uh, algae and it's, and it's very thick. And this is about uh, two weeks uh, uh, worth of growth. The foam that the algae scrubber grows on, again, is 10 PPI. Uh, porette foam. It also serves as a pre-filter for the sump. I haven't cleaned it, the foam itself, in a year and it uh, can be cleaned by pulling out the algae. I'm going to do my twice a month cleaning by simply removing by hand the algae that has accumulated over the uh, last two weeks. And uh, as you can see, it's thick, it's considerable. Uh, it, it's a lot more algae than you see with uh, commercially available uh, algae scrubbers where you have to clean them with uh, a credit card and uh, you're certainly not gonna get uh, this quantity of algae and uh, nitrate reduction in your aquarium. Here you can see the uh, headspace over the porette foam after the algae has been removed, leaving enough uh, algae to restart the cycle. Here's a two weeks production. And uh, again, it was removed by hand, no credit card uh, necessary. So in summary, you have a high production of algae in this unit. Uh, the unit itself is very low cost. All I had to buy was uh, a $39 beam, Beamswork LED. Uh, I used, as many of you I'm sure can, existing uh, sump layouts. And uh, in terms of uh, maintenance, uh, you don't have to take anything to the sink and scrape with a credit card. You just grab the algae, put it in a tray, and, uh, and dispose of it. Hope you enjoyed it and you can adapt this to your situation.